Someone tell me, why is that horse, why doesn't that horse move? Who said it's tied to a chair? <coughs> yeah, but that's slightly obvious. Um, <laughs> it's tied to, the chair's plastic, the horse is half a ton, why doesn't it move? <laughs> Say that again, sorry? Oh, she goes again, look, she's a horse specialist now. <laughs> move from tigers to horses. Um, listen, <laughs> but the chair's plastic, the horse is half a ton, why doesn't it move? Where did it get that thought from? Yeah. Guys, when, that, when did you think it was tied to a chair? When it was old or when it was young? young? Guys, make a note of this, please. Your formative years are between one and eight. Please make a note of that. Your formative years are between one and eight. Formative years. F-O-R-M-A-T-I-V-E. Between one and eight. Formative. In your formative years, you learned your name, ABCs, your colours, everything based on yourself, but also your values. The reason why that horse doesn't move is because it was conditioned at a young age not to move. Guys, very important. What uh, One to eight. Guys, look carefully. Now, I worked with a student a couple of years ago, said to me, Steve, after this session, you got me thinking differently. I said, well, what do you mean? He says, in my formative years, I was told certain things which I believed. I said, what do you mean? He goes, well, I was often told that I was not a maths person. Raise your hands if you've been told you're not a maths person. I mean, what does that mean anyway? I said to the student, well, what's two plus two? He said to me, Steve, don't be stupid. I know what two plus two is. I said, well, you can't tell me you're not a maths person. He goes, yeah, but. I said, don't but. You can do certain types of maths. He was also told he was not a confident person. There are some people in this room that will come up the front like a shot. Young man down the back, Rob and the other fellow, uh, Elliot. Is it Elliot? Ellis, yeah, like a shot. Maybe in Ellis, when he was younger, he had an experience where his friend said to him, you're, you're, you're so good at coming up the front. He took that as part of his being. Some of you will never come up the front. A lot of it is based on your belief systems. Guys, often being compared. Who's ever been compared to your brother or sister and basically said you're not as clever as your brother or sister? Right, guys, listen carefully. I call this the blue chair syndrome. Guys, what is holding you back? 